Hi everybody, this is City Readings and hi Libra. Let's see what messages will show up for you guys. What do we have for Libra? In case this reading resonates with you, there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how is your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome of ice love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out. It will be linked underneath the video for you guys. What do we have for Libra? I will also be linking your 2022 20, predictions underneath the video. You have empathy and death. Oh, something came to an end here, possibly involving a relationship, okay? But I feel like Libra, you're at that point where you're realizing things and you're kind of like looking especially at your relationships and you're you're kind of like figuring out what's worth it and what's not worth it, okay? For some of you, there could be even a luxury purchase, that's a side note, or like some something about your appearance that has changed recently or you're trying to maybe lose weight like i said you know it's all about the aesthetics isn't it for libras that's a side message but with the death and the empathy energy to me it looks like you're trying to understand something okay to me it looks like you're trying to understand why a situation possibly unfolded the way that it did okay with the death and the empathy energy i'm learning that endings are merely beginnings and i'm open to seeing both sides of a situation okay what do we have for libra please i will read for you what those messages are exactly saying towards the end of your reading what do we have for libra please Love is showing up in your challenge, Libra. Mm -hmm. I see you independent in your vibe at this time, though. Detaching from something. Wow. Okay. I even begin there is some sadness um, in the air here especially connected to a relationship or some sort of emotional withdrawal here um, you look back at a certain situation and there is still you know it, it still hurts okay and to me it looks like you're coming from a place of love but not necessarily wanting to open up it's like you're standing there analyzing a love situation probably even distancing yourself from it like i don't see you very engaged in this situation whatever it is In 
the recent past you maybe found out about somebody or i don't know like some energy like that with the high priestess and the nine of pentacles right now you're independent in your vibe i feel like a lot of you are also being secretive libra in your energy you're trying to listen to your intuition one thing i love about your reading is that there's a sense of patience okay um with the nine of pentacles this is independent energy this is also a sense of evolution or transformation like something within you that i see has transformed especially how you view things and how you process things libra because i feel like at this time you're questioning things um you're also thinking a lot these days okay it does look like you have recognized that if something is meant to be i kind of have to leave it alone and if it is for me it's it will kind of flow in in my life and you know i don't necessarily have to go after it or going nuts after it you know ten of cups to the seven of cups possibly a union in love that's going to make you very happy but to me it looks like libra there's some options in love or there's like a lot to choose from now this could be in regards to your love situation or other things that are happening in your life which we will see whoever you're dealing with they miss you they're definitely not liking the distance between the two of you but i have to be honest they i don't see them doing anything about it like it looks like it's in their feelings but this is a person who is analyzing the situation they are a little bit closed off to you at this time i see you healing some of you also have accepted that this is a missed opportunity that's why it makes you sad or that's why it's giving you a sense of like oh damn you know it's already a missed opportunity i kind of don't see it going anywhere you know your advice here is to close a certain chapter in your life um but at the same time don't resist the new stuff that's coming up for you okay so let's clarify and see what we have for libra Yeah, I feel like that pain is connected to a possible tough ending that you've had with somebody. Um I also feel like for a lot of you there's a sense of burden that you're feeling maybe in regards to your, you know, money or some of you feel like you have a lot of responsibilities. Okay, and then there's something going on within you emotionally too. I don't see you giving up Libra sorry for the silence whenever I'm silent I'm kind of like trying to pick up on energies and honestly it's very inconsiderate like people sometimes come and they're like why are you going silent you're here to talk just like give us the message and go why are you silent why are you being impatient like comments don't really get to me but that comment does get to me because like when whenever people are trying to like rush me into giving them a reading i really it bugs me 
<laughs> um, and I have uh, I have stated it a million times that I read intuitively. Okay. So Libra, like I said, this has a lot to do with some sort of emotional pain. But like I said, I'm seeing that things in your life, you know, are piling up on you mm -hmm. or have piled up on you. What is the Knight of Cups? Eight of Coins. Mm, as much as you would like to Libra you don't feel like a certain love situation is going anywhere and I kind of feel like there's love between you and this person still but you don't know if if working on this is going to go anywhere okay so your challenge here is to actually consider working on the situation despite the fact that you have love for somebody But I feel like Libra, there's a sense of like back and forth in your energy. There's somebody who is hard for you to let go of. Absolutely. Like, you know, some something about your feelings is getting in your way. But your challenge here has also a lot to do with exploring an opportunity in love that you may not believe in that much, okay? But with the Sun card, you know, it can bring you happiness maybe. But with the Sun card being here, the Eight of Coins and the Knight of uh, Cups all in your challenge, it's looking like a difficult situation. It's almost like there are emotions attached to a situation but then you don't want to give in to it because you feel like, what is the point? And a situation that you're probably distancing yourself from. What is the High Priestess? Three of Swords, heartbreak, pain, loss. I feel like um, Libra, a lot of you are in this energy where I see you a bit mysterious, okay? You're keeping things to yourself. You're silencing yourself. I feel like you're not talking to a lot of people these days. But there's pain behind it. so. However, I'm seeing you, Libra. There's pain behind it. You know? What is the Nine of Pentacles? Nine of Swords. I see you detaching yourself. I see you being more independent in your wife, Libra. Okay. But I feel like there's something that you're repeating in your head, okay? And the reason why you're in this energy where it's like, I'm fine being single is because you're tired of being stressed out about something, okay? That's why I feel like you're prioritizing other things. You're prioritizing, you know, your independence, your money, your sense of victory, and you're connecting it to other things in your life. You're wanting to detach from something because of the stress and anxiety that has come from it. And again, you know, this is you attempting to be at peace with yourself. What is the temperance and the seven of pentacles in the energy for Libra? Moving on from something. 
Look, I keep seeing that there's love with the Six of Swords and the Queen of Cups. There is love. But Six of Swords, you're, you're choosing to walk away regardless or you're moving on from this, okay? Mm -hmm. It's almost like surrendering. Ten of Cups to the Seven of Cups, please. But I still see a love situation being manifested here. For some of you, there could be a reunion with a family member too. But there is a sense of like this emotional fulfillment, Three of Cups. There's so many cups here, Ace of Wands. Libra, I see you celebrating something or I see you meeting up with somebody in the near future, actually. And I'm also seeing a possibility of options in love. Tell me more about it. Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords. Oh God, feeling stuck in your head about something. One thing I'm going to tell you to avoid, Libra, is to make up scenarios in your head. That is also seeming like a challenge for you in the time to come because... It looks like you're overthinking something too much. And, you know, with the Three of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Six of Cups, there is literally an energy for you to celebrate or to have fun with. But with the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Swords, it's like you're overthinking it to a point that, oh, I don't know, like, I'm very cautious, like, and it is good to do that, but it's like you're doing it to a point where you're harming yourself. What is the Knight of Wands, please? Empress. Five of Coins, the Five of Cups. I see you growing, I see you evolving, I see you taking care of yourself. And I see you doing something that you're very passionate about. I do not know what exactly this is, but this is definitely something that you're very passionate about, Libra. Okay. their person's energy what is this they're avoiding you libra they're being cold and detached towards you they're avoiding you but it is all not because they don't feel a certain way about you they do but i feel like the person that you're dealing with libra they have a lot going on in their life like their energy is a bit scattered especially with their work and stuff this person feels very attracted to you, but they're avoiding making any sort of like change or approaching you. I'm also getting Libra that this person misses how things used to be between the two of you. I'm really getting this is going to take some time. What is the Nine of Wands here? Which is the same Nine of Wands in your person's energy. Knight of Swords. Six of Cups. Who knows? For some of you, there may even be a reconciliation here. Why? Because this is the same Nine of Wands. This is the same Nine of Wands. Then you have the Six of Cups. You, you have this past person's energy. Knight of Swords communication. So who knows, maybe you guys will end up talking to one another, but I feel like I feel a certain type of a way about this. Let's see. Tell me more. Two of Cups. I shouldn't be. Look at that. Five of Swords. I feel like for this situation between the two of you to work out, 
if you are willing to work it out there needs to be an honest conversation not game playing because i feel like at some point libra you and your person both have played mind games with one another and there is love but there's distance between the two of you like i seriously don't know how else to explain it is this a situation that you've repeated with a person several times What is the Four of Pentacles for Libra's advice? Ace of Coins, Four of Swords. Take a break if you need it. And it is telling you to focus on new opportunities. So it's, it's almost like shifting from a pessimistic approach to a more optimistic approach when it comes to something. Let's read for you Death and Empathy to close off your reading. And I will be linking your extended underneath the video to find out how's your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome advice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out. It'll be linked below. And bonus messages and your 2022 predictions. Uh, death is an illusion. It is a fact of life that the human body we use to travel the earth must eventually stop working. It is not meant to exist forever. The energy and consciousness that inhabited that body is free and returns to its, its natural home, but it never abandons us. Learn to view death as merely a change and everything must change because stagnancy extinguishes progress. The same is true for a relationship or a career. A soul lesson may be completed and it is time to move beyond this point of familiarity and expand into new horizons of learning and development. This is a wonderful opportunity to thank those other souls in your life who have shared a part of your path and taught you so much. Let's read for you Empathy. You don't truly understand others' motivations if you haven't lived their lives and seen the world through their eyes. It is so easy to ju judge another's behavior matched up against your own and label it as right or wrong, but you're missing an important part of the equation, the other person's history and personal path. We are all sparks of the divine with a purpose here in the physical dimension, and we can all exert our free will. Some of us have lost our way along the path to love, and it is a human reaction to judge others before examining their journey through their eyes and with compassion. Your job is not to judge, your job is to love and understand. That's it, Libra. Those were the oh sorry, that's it, Libra. Those were the messages that came up for you. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that you got something out of the reading. And your extended will be linked below if you're interested. Take care and bye-bye.